you like to drive around and talk about the latest happenings, this is the channel you need. So subscribe and follow Carmentary. What's up, everybody? Oh man, I ruined that one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Carpentry. Neil Hartman here, driving in my car. I'm gonna try to keep this one under 10 minutes for you. Let's see what we can do. Today's topic is about a new movie that was released recently. I just watched it yesterday and the day before uh, on YouTube. It's free to watch on YouTube. Michael Moore is the producer. Jeff Gibbs is the director and it's called The Planet of Humans. Maybe you heard about it, maybe not. Regardless, you gotta watch this movie. So important. I don't, it's a documentary. It's a documentary, it's from Michael Moore. Pretty sure, if you haven't heard of Michael Moore, just go away, okay? <laughs> um, you need to have heard of Michael Moore. Yeah, he's made some of the, the greatest documentaries, uh, as far as I'm concerned. I was a little shocked, first of all, though, to go to Michael Moore's YouTube channel. And he's got 104,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. And I was like, really? It's not like, it doesn't have like a million subscribers? I mean, there are some of the biggest losers out there who have millions of subscribers and Michael Moore can only get 104,000? Like, <sighs> yeah, it's the end times, folks. So this movie, please go and subscribe to Michael Moore's channel. He does great stuff. Then watch this movie. It's directed by this guy, Jeff Gibbs, who I'd never heard his name before, but he apparently has worked with Michael Moore for a long time, like producing some of Michael Moore's movies. So now they've reversed the roles. Michael Moore is the producer. This guy, Jeff Gibbs, is the director. He's a longtime environmentalist. Um, I don't want to give away the whole story of the movie, but basically it's a deep dive into the eco movement and especially the last 10, 15 years where this whole green energy uh, thing has sort of really come up and everybody, you know, move beyond coal. We're getting rid of the coal power, coal-fired power plants and moving into these renewables and green energy and all this stuff. So I was aware of all that and kind of knew what was going on. And you know, we've got hybrid cars, we got electric cars, we got renewable energy, there's solar, there's wind power, there's all these kind of exciting new technologies going on. And yeah, you know, it's like, oh, great, great. Things are heading in the right direction. That was always kind of my feeling, but I never really was too conscious of what was actually going on or I never took the time to look into any of that stuff. This movie basically gets into the dirty, dirty details of that whole movement and what is really going on in there. And it's despicable could have predicted that. I mean, anything that you see, you know, big dollar signs and big business and government getting involved in, there's, there's evil behind it. And it's no different with this whole green movement. So you got to watch this movie. It's imperative that everybody should watch this movie. It should have like 500 million views. Right now, it's been out for about a week. Yesterday it was like over 2 million views. I take that as hopeful. Um, hope, I guess a lot of people are sharing it, starting to talk about it. And it's one of those movies you go, man, man I kind of worry about, I've always worried about Michael Moore's safety as a human being. And now this guy, Jeff Gibbs, they call people out hard. And people who are thought of as like, you know, America's number one leading eco-activist. And he basically just calls the guy like, you're a piece of crap. 
like you are a sellout to the big corporate evil doers in the movie just like this what you think of as this amazing guy is actually evil and when you start doing in that in in books and movies and and really putting your name on the line there see you can make a lot of enemies real quick so i've always kind of worried about those guys but so far they're they're fine which is good okay so i hope i've inspired you to go out and watch that a lot of the comments like people who shared it on facebook were like oh that was really depressing and i mean yeah it is it is depressing but i'd rather know the truth than just be another blind sheep following the herd you know what i'm saying especially with this uh the the eco you know and the whole future of the planet climate change you know all that stuff but i've always been uh more concerned with especially okay let's go back a little bit eight years ago we had the big earthquake here in japan and we had a nuclear power plant exploding uh and that basically was like a huge wake-up call and a learning experience about how the power grid works and how it is run and controlled by you know all the government big corporations etc etc and that was a real learning experience and it, it did kind of wake me up to like okay the real issue that we have to deal with is power sources where obviously at that time it was like we want to get rid of nuclear energy what's going on with nuclear energy is this really needed is are there other alternatives and yeah so more than climate change more than any other eco topic uh, I personally am interested in you know power like where that's what we're running on that's what the whole world is running on electricity we are absolutely 100% addicted to electricity and they got us by the you know what with the electricity so yeah sorry I'm not sure where I'm going with that but again just watch the movie okay I think I I didn't give away the whole thing there's still some suspense for you when you watch it okay so um, I think the movie is also relevant in this whole situation we're in right now with coronavirus COVID-19 whatever you want to call it uh, it, it kind of ties in with all the stuff that's going on right now with that and maybe it's a hint towards you know what could be a new economy a new type of economy a new world that comes out of this whole uh, paradigm shift that we are in right now uh, called the age of corona so I think it's it's required viewing and maybe it'll lead to other films. If there's anything else out there that you think I should watch, please let me know in the comments. That would be great. And I'd love to hear what uh, everybody thinks about the movie after you watch it. Please come back and leave me some comments. All right, I think that's, uh, that's a good length, right? Is that about 10 minutes? I hope so. I'm on my way to Costco now, by the way. Uh, I do have my, my mask with me. That's my hat. Um, see, there you go. My 3M mask. This is one of the good ones, an N95. So I'm going to put that on, go do my shopping, and uh, that's it. Back home. Used to go to Costco with the family, take the kids. That would be the normal thing. Not anymore. It's a solo mish now. Got to go out there, put the mask on, put the gloves on, spray some alcohol. Boom. Get your stuff. Get back in the car, spray some more alcohol. Go home. Yeah, life in 2020. That's how we roll. All right, folks. Uh, remember to drive safe, and I will see you back here for the next episode. If you like to drive around and talk about the latest happenings, this is the channel you need. So subscribe and follow Carmentary.